Hey guys, this is Ted Box, and welcome to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the beta re-restore method to downgrade your 32-bit um, device to a 9.x version or lower from iOS 10. So this is a beta method, and this basically allows you to downgrade your iPhone and jailbreak it again, because as you know, 32-bit devices are not supported for iOS 10 jailbreaks. So um, I tried using this beta method, and here, uh, I'll go to this webpage here. It's called iDevice Re-Restore, found by Elitech. This bug was found by Elitech, and, um... So pretty much all this bug does is allow you to restore to a lower firmware, uh, with the correct SHSH blob. So you do have to have your SHSH blobs saved, if you, any of you even know what those are anymore. But pretty much what you do is you go ahead and click, uh, for Mac OS X or Linux. This is not supported, uh, for Windows. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna open up the zip file, and I'm just gonna drag this over to my desktop here. So once we have this folder over here, uh, we just open up the folder and you'll be greeted by these three files inside the SHSH folder. You're going to have to put your blobs in. Now, you're going to have to put uh, special blobs in. The thing is, uh, the, the thing I mean by special blobs is you need the blobs for the version that you're going to restore to. So I'm going to restore to a jailbreakable version, which is version 9.3.4. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 9.3.4 blobs and I'm just going to drag them in here. So they're called blobs.shsh. Now the reason blobs.shsh isn't going to work, it's not because it's 9.3.4, but it's not named as the program would like you to name it. So I'll show you how to figure out what name uh, your blobs have to have. But anyway, you're going to go back to this here over here. So now in order to use the tool, we're going to have to go into terminal. So just open up terminal and inside terminal you're going to type cd space. And then go over here to this folder, click and drag it into the CMD here, and press enter. And now you're going to do dot slash iDevice restore, and then press enter after that. So you'll see all these options that we have here. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be restoring my iPhone 5, 1 uh, to iOS 3.9.3.4. Uh, now, you need to put your iPhone into DFU mode if, uh, for example, you have iOS 10 and you're restoring to iOS 9, or you, or you have iOS 9 and you're restoring to iOS 8, or 10 to 8. So pretty much, if there's a major gap in between the, um, the iOS version that you are restoring to, make sure uh, you put your device into DFU mode, DFU mode, and then it will work. Now, the thing is, this bug currently only works for uh, 9.x versions. Other versions do not work yet, or at least are not implemented. However, as iDownloadBlog has mentioned, this bug actually works for other versions as well. Up to even, um, actually down to like iOS 6.0 even. Alright, so my device is currently jailbroken already on 9.3.4 since I've already tried this. But if your device was on iOS 10, what you'd have to do is you put your device into DFU mode, and then you'll start the process. So, just have your device, um, ready in DFU mode. And then go over to the program, and you're just going to do dot slash uh, iDevice Restore. And I'm going to do R for uh, re-restore method. And then just drag in your IPSW. Now, this is where the blobs naming thing comes in. So you see blobs.shsh inside the shsh folder. If you were to run this over here, so it looks like the program's not able to discover the device. So I'm just going to put the device into recovery mode here. So I'm going to click enter the recovery. This program is called RecBoot. It's actually a pretty, uh, pretty good program if you're looking for a program to boot your devices into recovery mode. Uh, really simple, so I'm just going to boot it in. There you go, my iPhone's booting into recovery mode, so we're just going to click cancel on the iTunes prompts. And now just run the program again, and now it'll work. So, um, the thing here is, it's saying uh, the device is not eligible for the requested build, but if we go up over here, it says no local file, uh, shsh slash, and then the name of the uh, shsh file. So basically this file over here is what the program is looking for, so what we're just going to do is copy that over there. And we're going to go into the SHSH, and we're just going to rename this blobs to uh, whatever it wants us to call it. And now, this time, if we run the command for uh, that, click enter, now it will actually work. So, um, right now it's sending the IBEC, and uh, uh, this process will take quite a few minutes. Uh, last time I tried it, it took about 20 minutes to restore. So at this point, you could probably take a break and maybe get yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, if that's your kind of thing. And I'll be back once this is done. Alright, so at this point, it looks like the program has actually finished doing its thing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to disconnect our iPhone from our computer at this point. Uh, just close out of all this stuff, and pretty much, we don't need the Mac anymore because all the stuff that's been um, 
done right now on the Mac. It's pretty much over, so the rest happens on the iPhone, so I'm just going to wait for the iPhone to boot up. Now, keep in mind that this can only work at this moment from uh, downgrading from iOS 10 to iOS 9, or from an iOS 9 version to another iOS 9 version. In this video here, I demonstrated downgrading 9.3.4, or restoring 9.3.4 to 9.3.4, and uh, the thing is, even if I tried to restore to 9.3.4, it would still wouldn't be signed, so I wouldn't be able to do this normally. Uh, the thing is, I didn't want to restore to iOS 10 in order to show you this, but um, originally I did have iOS 10.3 running on this iPhone before I decided to downgrade it to 9.3.4 earlier this morning. So yeah, this is a fairly new bug, and it's still work in progress, and I'll expect a lot more um, to come out uh, from Ali Tech and Timstar uh, if they're working on uh, other developments to this bug, and uh, most likely this bug will be patched by Apple at some point, at least that's what a lot of people are saying. Uh, especially I download blog, they're saying uh, this probably will be patched, and there might be a chance of 9.3 points, uh, 9.3.6 being released um, in order to patch this bug. So what I highly encourage you guys to do is save your blobs, save your SHSH blobs, because you never know. Um, it won't harm you if you save them, and also you will, you will just never know if uh, you will ever need the blobs. So towards the end of this video, I will show you how to save your SHSH blobs in a in one simple method, it's really simple, it's not supported by Timstar actually, but it's it's really simple for um, restoring. Alright, so our device has been successfully restored now, so we can just set up our device here. This is pretty much a full stock uh, version of iOS uh, 9.3.4 now, however you wouldn't be able to do this without SHSH blobs, so I highly encourage you to save your SHSH blobs. Pretty much, if you were to ever mess up your installation here, you'd probably technically be able to restore back to it if you have SHSH blobs. So pretty much, you, your iPhone is permanently jailbroken if you technically use this method uh, before it is patched. So for now, yeah, your, your device would be permanently jailbroken if you have the right magical SHSH blobs that have a jailbreak on them. It turns out I actually had uh, SHSH blobs. Uh, so uh, earlier this morning, I actually tried them and... Uh, so here you go. Basically, uh, we have 9.3.4 running, uh, thanks to the uh, re-restore bug uh, found by Alitech. And here it is, 9.3.4 running our, our device. You can't quite see that on the camera. 9.3.4 running on our device. Um, and this is the legit build. So for 9.3.4, there is a Home Depot jailbreak currently uh, released, and 9.3.5 most likely will be releasing a, uh, or have a jailbreak, uh, due to the Fried Apple team and their, uh, DIY jailbreak. So yeah, uh, look forward to that if you have 9.3.5 blobs, because 9.3.5 is obviously better than iOS 10 on some devices. So, um, yeah, if you have magical blobs, just go ahead and try this method. Um, I'm not sure if it's, if it works right now on iOS 6 or not. So, uh, use at your own risk, but yeah, it looks like it works perfectly fine. So anyway, now I'm going to show you how to save your blobs in the easiest method possible. Alright, so there's this app called Ticketbox. So I just connected my iPhone, just going to click cancel on that. There's this app called Ticketbox for the Mac, so I'm just going to open it up, Ticketbox. Um, and it's, it's the simplest way, technically, of uh, saving your blobs. However, um, it is not officially supported by Timstar. However, it still works pretty well. So, uh, this is version right here. This is version uh, 0.4. I think there's a newer version out. But yeah, pretty much what you could do is you could save all your SHSH blobs here. So all you do is you click this request SHSH button every time a new I, uh, iOS gets released. And all it's going to do is fetch the SHSH blobs. For some reason, 10.3 um, didn't really work on my device. Even through iTunes, it didn't work for some reason. But yeah, um, you could do uh, you could fetch all your iOS versions here. It looks like uh, the iPhone 5 also has 8.4.1 OTA blobs. So you technically might be able to restore with this uh, if OTA support is la uh, later added in this bug. I'm not sure if it works or not, or if OTA will work. Uh, but that's pretty much inter something interesting there. So yeah, it looks like I have saved 10.2 uh, all the way up to 10.3.1. So yeah, I've been saving my blobs for quite a while, and I also have 10.1.1 and uh, 9.3.4. Now I encourage you to keep your blobs safe uh, inside folders like this. Uh, and also name your blobs appropriately if uh, Ticketbox doesn't name them correctly for you. Because uh, if you export from Ticketbox, Ticketbox uh, names them a little differently than uh, some programs require. So yeah, just name them in whatever format is uh, easy to remember and just don't lose them. Back them up on every single server uh, that you have. Uh, I mean, if you have a server, just back them all up. I have an SHSH folder here from 9 to 3 to 4. Uh, that's actually a broken blob that I tried to modify. But yeah, um, back them up to everything you can because uh, that's the best thing you could do. I mean, I have a web server here. 
uh, with all my SHSH blobs. Actually, this one's this one's the 10.1.1, I think. Yeah, 10.1.1 uh, SHSH blob. So yeah, save save your save your blobs, guys. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, because in the future you will probably kick yourself if you don't do it. So anyways. So anyways, guys, if you would like to download this uh, Re-Restore bug toolkit type uh, thing, or iDevice Re-Restore, uh, I'll give you a link down below in the description, so go ahead and download that. Uh -huh.